hello again and welcome to my channel today we are looking again at budget food things are getting expensive now and i was just wondering whether we can still keep within that 10 pound so here i am outside aldi um, and i'm going to go in and see what i can find something different today hopefully see you soon hello so this is what i purchased from aldi before i got some tender stem broccoli some Thai green curry kit, long grain rice, a couple of bags of cooked sliced chicken. Okay, I also got some peppers, some macaroni, some passata, uh, some chopped tomatoes, some onions. And now I've got the frozen ready diced variety because these came in at 59p, so I thought, I only need this mount, so I might as well just buy these. So if I don't use any, they can go in the freezer. And this is carrots. So that's all I got with my £10.54p. So these are the ingredients I'm going to use today. We're going to be making like a Hungarian goulash soup type thing. It's my own recipe, sort of taken from something that Slimming World gave me years ago. So I'll just run through the ingredients. Tinned tomatoes, passata, carrots, wonky peppers, macaroni, and frozen onions. And from a video that I did a wee while ago about budget recipes, we've got the leftover beef mince. So I'm using that up in this video because it was in my freezer and it was from the last uh, video that I did on budget food. So always good to get things out the freezer and from the store cupboard what I'm going to be using is two oxo cubes some paprika thyme oregano half a pepper that I'm that's sitting in my fridge and I thought I'd get rid of some fry light a little bit of Worcester sauce some salt and some pepper let's get going then so we're going to start off with a pan a large pan this is the pasta pan because I needed quite a large one. We're going to spray a little bit of our one cal fry light in. And we're going to add the onions. It's up to you how many onions you add, but I would recommend about one onion. Once you've done that, I would then add all your other vegetables that you've diced up. And in this instance, these are red pepper, green pepper, and carrot. So we're gonna stick it all in together so it has a chance to soften slightly. The thing is, because we're gonna be using tomatoes, acid in tomatoes seems to stop things softening quite a bit. Or at least I've found this, especially with carrots, everything. We're not gonna have them going brown. We don't want them brown. So it's a good idea to put them in from the beginning turn my heat on on a low we're just going to do this slowly and we're going to get this softened now there's a bit of moisture in the onions because they were frozen and that will help everything to um, soften a little bit more so so as you can see um, the onions are not white anymore they're like see-through-ish if you will what we're going to do now is add our mince so the mince that I have is the mince that was left over from my last a budget meal which was the the mince pie so I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to cook this now until the mince is brown as you can see the mince has all gone brown now so what I'm going to do is add some flavorings now so we've got paprika now you don't want smoked paprika in this you want the normal paprika so I'm going to just pop that in there's about a tablespoon in there that needs to go in fully so we're going to sprinkle that in okay thing about this is it is heavily paprika based so don't be worried we're going to put in about a teaspoon of thyme I'm going to eyeball this so here we've got thyme eyeball this so about that should do it a bit more maybe and about the same of, of oregano so we've got our oregano we're just going to pop a teaspoon of that in, which is about that. 
once you've done that give it a mix around then what we're going to add is some tomatoes so I'm going to use chopped in tomatoes mm. and as there's still quite a bit in there what we're going to do is get some warm water half fill it with warm water and then tip it out and you'll get everything out of the tin then leave it for about 10 minutes just to get all those flavors dancing around five ten minutes so what i'm going to do is add a little bit of worcester sauce eyeball it i would say about a tablespoon okay. along with about two pints of water That was boiling water. Stick that in, let it cook. And what we're going to do now is add our pasta. So I have here macaroni. We're going to put half the packet in. Okay. So as you can see, about half a packet. Okay, add your stock cube. And just crumble them in. Now it doesn't have to be beef stock cubes. Um, it can be chicken or vegetable. If you prefer vegetable, you can leave out the meat altogether and use beans, it's not a problem. You change this recipe to how you like it. it savory recipes, you can change as you feel you need to. Now you need to keep an eye on this now because what we're going to be doing is letting the pasta cook and it will thicken up this soup so you may need to add extra water so be aware of that. Once your stroganoff has been boiling for about 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes, your pasta will be cooked. It's time to add the passata in so we're going to add that tomato passata. Um, this is a good hearty stew this so as you can see very kid friendly as well because it's not got any strong flavors in it at all so I'm going to check for seasonings now so just a clean spoon needs a bit of salt but definitely some pepper there we go mm, bang on lovely okay I would say that's done So I'm going to be using the frozen sliced cooked chicken, the long green rice, um, two peppers that are left from before. I've got our Thai green curry kit, which we'll see how that goes. Some carrots and some tender stem broccoli. And to that, the only thing I'm going to be adding is good old salt and pepper. So without further ado, let's get into this. Need to do to make this Thai chicken curry is put some rice on. So using a cup I'm going to measure out one cup of long grain rice which should be enough for six people. Maybe slightly over I think but there's one cup of rice and we're going to add to that two cups of boiling hot water from well, slightly over because we did actually do slightly over. So one, two, maybe it's a smish and stick the heat on. And we're going to add to that a little bit of salt and we're going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to partly cook my veggies so I'm going to put that over there like that and I'm going to stick my my broccoli in there because we're using tender stem broccoli for this. Takes a bit to cook inside the curry, so I'm going to do it on here. Oh. What I'm going to do now is start the curry in the pan over here. So I'm going to use a frying pan for this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with the vegetables because they need a little bit of cooking. Depends how you like them. I don't mind my peppers. A little bit 
keep a bite. But I've got carrots here as well, and I just want to make sure that they are soft enough. We have peppers and carrots. I'm going to put these in my pan, the carrots first, because they do take longer than the peppers, and I don't mind peppers being a little bit al dente. There we go, stick those in, and we're going to cook them in the frying pan for a few minutes just to help it along. So I added the onions, sorry I forgot to show doing that, um, to the carrots and they're now just softened in. And what I'm going to do next is add my chicken. There we go. Just to show you, my rice is still cooking. It looks okay, it's not ready yet. So I'll just give it a bit of a waft around. As you can see, it's swelling. I'm just gonna wait for the water to disappear. I've turned it down slightly because it was boiling really hard. For our chicken, I'm just gonna let it defrost a bit in the pan and it'll help the carrots cook as well, the moisture from the chicken. If you feel like it needs any water, sorry, any oil, Stick a bit of boiling water in. It cuts down on calories and it will help it to cook. We're going to put coconut milk in later, which came with the pack. There we go. And once you've done that, you need to add your coconut milk. And then once we've got that incorporated, what we're going to do is add our peppers. I like colouring my Thai curries and bread, so if you don't want them, leave them out. I think it's authentic to put little baby aubergines in. But I'm British, so I just put peppers and carrots and onions in. So while that's doing that, what I'm going to do is add the rest of the, the milk. There we go. And now just give it a stir. It doesn't take long for this to come together. Now the last thing I need to add is the herbs. I don't know if you can see this, but there appears to be coriander and chilies in there, so let's just give it a welly and see how we do. it says put it in. So here we go. Oh my word, what's that? I think we'll break them up here. So turn the heat down a bit, leave it a sec, and then we'll be ready. And it's what, half past four? So to round up what I've been doing today, um, both meals came in at under £1.50. I'm just looking at my figures on my computer here and the Hungarian goulash type meal came in at, if you're serving six, 75p a portion which is really good. Um, and the chicken curry came in at, if you're serving six, 121 a portion which it's higher than I expected but not too bad um, so it is still possible to make meals under a pound but it's getting difficult um, well if you like what I've been doing could you give me the thumbs up and like subscribe share with anybody um, if you like what I'm doing leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll try and respond to you if you've got any ideas on what you want me to do next please feel free uh, leave a comment down below and I will have a look at it thank you very much for looking at my channel and I'll see you again on Eat These Words <laughs>